I want to talk about another story. Um, Mr. The Hurt Twins, um, the father here, he actually has a gag on it, certain things he can't say. Um, he had a case where him and his uh, significant other were together, raising a child together. He had a, a social media platform where he had millions of followers like he has now that followed the children. They were twins. So the twins do a lot of cute things. I actually flew to, to Maryland in support of him. And the story came out on WUSA, Maryland, Washington, D.C., with Mr. Larry Miller did a fine job reporting the, the case about a week ago. It, it aired uh, in Washington, D.C., metro area, Maryland area. And in, in his case, um, he he realized after him and his mother broke up, him and the child's mother broke up, she tried to do a social media page and it failed. But he had his page robust, actually having sponsors and supporters, uh, giving him gifts for the kids and earning enough money to send his kids to a nice private school, have a nice home in a nice neighborhood, actually visit the home, a lot of trinkets for the kids. And then he realized the mother was under those abusive situations because the kids complained. So he, he, um, he approached the courts on his own to his, as the petitioner to you know regulate what the visitation was because the mother was off with this new person and there was a domestic violence allegation yet police report showing that the mother was being abused by this other individual and then the guardian line was appointed by the court and the guardian line went to investigate we don't know how much they investigated the mother but we know they came to the dad's house and the first thing she pointed out oh how do you how can you afford a, a land rover um, and why do you have, how do you have these little bikes for these kids? And how do you live in such a nice neighborhood when you said you're not working? Well, ma'am, I was, I'm not working, but I've been supporting my kids because we've got this social media following and kids, people love them and then we make money online and blah, 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 blah. The Guardian Biden went back to the courts and reported that he's exploiting the children because he had them on social media and showing their life in social media. You know, pretty much he takes his kids for a walk outside in the park and he takes a minute or two of that and he makes a meme out of it. And, he produces it and, and shows that thing. It wasn't them naked in the bathtub or anything, doing anything crazy. Twins do a lot of crazy, funny stuff, and that's what they were showing. They're very loving and talking to each other. And the Guardian line of didn't didn't show in her investigations what the mom side was negative. She just showed this her rendition of him exploiting the children, making money off the kids, and had him reduced to one hour a week when he was the primary caretaker for the mom prior to this situation. He's the one to file a petition. There was never a false allegation against him, never a domestic violence charge from the mom, but the guardian litem kind of threw him under the bus because of a personality thing or what have you. And it's just incredible. And then now he went up for a review and the, the judge renewed it for another 90 days where he only gets to see his kid once. And, when, and the problem is when he goes to this center in front of these other strangers, see his kid, he says to his kid, are you praying? Are you saying your prayers? He's a Christian man. And the, the counselor there says, oh, you can't ask him that question. Dad, um, when are we going to be coming home? We'll just pray about it, son, and you'll be able to come home soon. You can't ask him that. You can't say that to them. Like, he's the parent. How are you eating? Are you, are you eating food? What are, you, are your glasses, um, are your glasses uh, working because you're not wearing them properly? Um, when did you go for last eye exam? You're not allowed to ask them those questions. These are normal parent questions. Like, you know, what did you eat for dinner last Tuesday? Do you like pizza or do you like steak, you know? And he's, they, they keep interjecting with him, like making him seem like he's aggressive or something like that. When that's not the case, he's just a caring dad. And they, just, and then the judge ordered in an order that he's not allowed to, he to take all the kids' social media down. He can't post his children's picture. He's got a gag order. He can't mention his kids' names. He can't talk about his kids. He can't show pictures and videos of his children. That's a violation of his civil of his First Amendment rights to be able to to do these things. So I, I'm trying to figure out why somebody would say it was exploitative because there has to be some harm associated with that. And, and, and if you're having the kids, mm -hmm, the kids weren't harmed. We have kids on Nickelodeon. We have them on the Disney Channel. We have them on, you know, kids are on TV all the time. The Mickey Mouse Club and all that. This guardian of item, I think, was very biased in her opinion, based upon what I understand of it and what I've seen. I've actually traveled to Maryland to be in the home. I stayed the night in his home. Had just met him. He's not, you know, and, and, and went there a few months back to to witness what was going on there. The kids went there because they're obviously with the mom. But from what I saw in the household, from the way I, the habits I've seen him with that interaction, plus the, the course we've been on this for just 54, 54 weeks, we're a year in. 
I met Mr. Mr. Hurt. Wow. And I don't see anything wrong with him as an individual why he should have equal time with his his children. And the guardian item did him in out of a first out of bias. Really, that's what I think. And it's not right. And, and you know, it, but so, you, so you, you, haven't, you haven't been to a final hearing yet because you, you do have the opportunity to cross examine a guardian in line. Um, so, so and maybe he should have an attorney do it, but right now it's costly and he doesn't have the profile of the internet that he had before making the money that he had because the kids were the subject of his, you know, his uh, Facebook page. You know, so I guess the guardian okay. was well, he's making money and the, the mom it's the mom's children, not his children. His grandma has the old archaic law that the child they weren't married. He's the he's the father, but the courts didn't determine him the father. He's the father because, you know, he's the father. So he has no he doesn't have the same rights as the mother has in the state of Maryland. That's well, the I, one of the realities we have to deal with, I think, you know, um we had one fellow had, had talked about how it's not fair that you know you don't have the same legal rights but that is our reality and the other reality is you know when you're dealing with people in the court system some of them are biased some of them are motivated by money yeah. and so somebody is, is seeing that you know you might have a better lifestyle than them it, there's all kinds of factors but i would say that you know if you've got a guardian ad litem involved be aware that you got to pay them because they are working for the money and if and if some guardians don't get paid that could be bad news for you it's terrible 